三、二、一，点火。Chinese space authorities say the Shenzhou 13 crew has successfully entered the core module of the Tiangong space station. They performed the first ever radio rendezvous and docking by a manned mission early Saturday morning. The three Taikonauts include the first woman to visit China's space station, and they lifted off from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center in northwest China's Gansu Province at 23 minutes past midnight on Saturday. And、they've begun a six-month mission to do further systems checks of the space station, which the country aims to complete by the end of 2022. Let's go live to our reporter Sun Ye. She's standing by for us at the Beijing Aerospace Control Center. Sun Ye, so the second crewed mission, a manned mission, to be in China's space station, and this will happen in about 10 hours from launch till entering the space station. Right, and、um, we were also seeing they entering the Shenzhou 13 crew successfully entering the Tianhe Core Module just moments ago, and I w- was hearing the loudest round of applause this whole morning. This means they are officially starting on that longest ever Taikon not stay in space, and we've been watching this、uh, very attentively the whole night from. Yesterday night to today's morning, and no one is better、uh, to judge how everything is going、um, than a special guest here. We actually have a deputy mission chief at、uh, of the China Space、um, Station program at the Beijing Control Center, Miss Zhou Xuemei, with us. We're going to speak in in Chinese, and she's going to tell us a lot about what has been happening.、Um, The last few days and what lies ahead for the Shenzhou 13 crew. So、we'll, we'll see her. Thank you, Ningzhou 老师 Thank you very much, Madam. 立刻就来，就是接受我们的采访 For accepting our interview today. You've been following this project. Could you please share with us your comment about this whole process of launching since yesterday? What are the highlights? Starting by yesterday, after the entrance into the orbit, the Shenzhou 13 has made a very successful journey. It has realized its docking with the space station, and now we can see the Taikonauts they are into the core module. This is a very successful mission, and the biggest highlight is that we have completed the very first radio. Port docking with the space station. So talking about this radio port docking, we know that is extremely challenging. And for the Shenzhou 11 and Shenzhou 12, they are different from this time's mission. What is the big difference for the Shenzhou 13 mission? First of all, for the duration of the flight. It's much longer than the previous missions. We know that for the Shenzhou 12, it has lasted for three months, and this time we will put the Taikonauts in the space for six months. And for the spacecrafts, and also for the telecommunications station, as well as for our workers on the land, it's a very big challenge. You can see from the front and also from the back, we have two cargo crafts. And also, we have this、uh, complex of the four crafts at the same time now in the space. It will help us to better understand the whole operation system. Of course, it's a challenging task. And later on, for the Shenzhou 13 mission, we will accomplish more tasks in the space. For example, for the transfer of the Tianzhou two cargo crafts for the Taikonauts in the space, they will also do a manual operation. Experiments with the cargo crafts, and what's more, this time the extravehicular activities will differ a little bit from the previous one.
plans. For example, for the rotation and installation of the bigger size and smaller size of the robotic arms, they will do an operation there. As you have mentioned, we have witnessed the entrance of the Taikonauts into the space station. We have to celebrate that great moment. However, there are more highlights to be expected for the next six months. And of course, we will make a lot more technical breakthroughs for the next half of the year. And you and the other team members, you have also overcome a lot of difficulties, I guess. What's the difference with the team on the ground? For the Shenzhou 12 mission, we were very nervous, much more nervous. And this time for the Shenzhou 13 mission, we are calmer and we ha have greater expectations for the mission. And we know that it will be a big success for the Shenzhou 13. Thank you very much. That, that was the deputy uh, mission chief here at the Beijing Control Center for the China's uh, Space Station program. She was saying, um, this one we have a lot to expect in the next six months, a lot of assignments, including spacewalks, um, installing new equipments, verifications uh, in technologies, and other things for the six month, which is the longest day to date for Chinese Taikonauts. And if we can, we will be following every step of the Taikonauts way here in Beijing. Back to you, Jiayang. Oh, well, a long tense night, but congratulations to all the staff there. Thank you so much, Sun Ye. The Shenzhou 13 mission is China's second and will also be the longest crewed mission to the space station. Let's hear more about the tasks ahead. During the six-month mission, in addition to living in orbit and conducting day-to-day -day scientific experiments, the Shenzhou 13 crew will also perform two to three spacewalks to install a small robotic arm onto a larger one as well as install and set up some equipment. The astronauts will also carry out an experiment to dock with the Tianzhou 2 cargo craft through remote manual controls to verify key technologies for the further construction of space station in the future. The three Taikonauts will conduct a series of scientific ex experiments during their six-month stay, and that needs good teamwork. They've been trained in tacit cooperation techniques and are confident that they can completely uh, complete the mission successfully. The Shenzhou 13 crew will have to perform two to three spacewalks. To get ready for that, they all must undergo ground trainings and meet certain standards. We have a female Taikonaut in our group and a woman's physique is very different from that of a man. So on the ground she must be able to perform all the tasks, including the whole spacewalk procedure. The three of us need to back each other up. We all must have the ability to operate the robotic arm or complete extravehicular crawling. Jai Zhegang, the commander of the mission, performed China's first spacewalk during the Shenzhou 7 mission. As a senior taikonaut, Jai always shares his experiences with others during daily trainings. Jai Jigang is more like a teacher than a commander, and no matter what you do, he always encourages you and gives you confidence and energy. Instructors often record videos of Jai's trainings for demonstrations. I did learn a lot from him. This is Wang Yaping's second space flight and comes eight years after she first went to space on the Shenzhou 10 mission. Wang earned the title of China's first space teacher after delivering a televised science lecture to an audience of over 60 million school children in 2013. She will give a second lesson during the Shenzhou 13 mission. Wang is very good at computer operations, data transmission and detailed tasks. Wang is always positive, hardworking, and meticulous. She is also very careful, thoughtful, and understanding. A new face in China's space mission. Ye Guangfu has actually been part of the program for 11 years. Ye is familiar with computer operation and data transmission. He is smart and full of energy. He may have to play a larger part in scientific research. Ye Guangfu is the first Taikonaut to participate in the European Space Agency underground training course. 
His outstanding performance was very inspiring for other Taikonauts. I feel very happy and honored to be able to work with him. Well, Shenzhou 13 is just the next stage of China's efforts to build its own space station, and that's set to be completed by the end of next year. Gao Yiming brings us some highlights in the construction of the Tiangong. The building of the Tiangong space station is a lengthy and difficult process. Altogether, it involves 11 different journeys into space, four crewed flights, four cargo flights, and three to set up the actual parts of the space station. A logistical monster, but a good start is half the battle, they say, and China has certainly managed that. It all began in late April when the most important section of the space station, the core module known as Tianhe, was launched from Wenchang Space Launch Site. Tianhe will serve as the living quarters for crew members and will provide the space station's power and propulsion. It'll be joined later by two further capsules, where the astronauts will carry out their experiments. The capsules, named Wen Tian and Meng Tian, will attach themselves to either side of the core module, making a T-shape. Exactly one month after Tianhe's launch, Wenchang was a hive of activity once again. It was time for the first shipment of cargo on board the Tianzhou 2 spacecraft to be launched. With nearly seven tons of cargo, it marked the debut for China's space station cargo transportation system. It included propellant and supplies to support human life in the space station. The third journey was a real landmark occasion, which saw the arrival of the first people on Tiangong. Shenzhou 12 mission involved the three Chinese astronauts who stayed there for three months. Commander Nie Haisheng is one of China's most experienced taikonauts. He was selected for the country's first cohort of taikonauts back in 1998 and was a flight engineer on Shenzhou 6, China's second manned spacecraft. Liu Boming was part of the 2008 Shenzhou 7 mission, China's third manned spaceflight. And Tao Hongbo made his space debut in this mission. The trio conducted a series of technical tasks, such as repairs and maintenance and adjustments to equipment and payloads. They returned to Earth on September the 17th. Their three-month journey set a new national record for the longest stay in space. Three days after their return, China sent the second cargo spaceship Tianzhou-3 to Tiangong. 2022 promises to bring even more excitement and construction as Tiangong gradually takes its distinctive T-shape.